Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been labeled as nothing more than social media fodder as they once again rebrand themselves for 2024. Despite their lofty rebranding and invented accomplishments without royal status, Harry and his wife for nothing more than social influencers, journalist Lee Cohen told GB News Nana Akua. Then there was the other episode where the Spotify execs called them grifters, and that will stick with them forever because it is just so appropriate, he added. But after their fall from grace with the streaming platforms. But in America, they are now the butt of insults and jokes from everything from cartoons to comedians. I wrote in the piece that, against criticism for these ridiculous rebranding efforts, the Sussexes defiantly vow not to be broken. But in fact, they have broken themselves through their transparent treachery that Brits have long known and Americans have finally woken up to, Cohen observed. During Harry's interview on Good Morning America, he professes love for his family following the King's cancer diagnosis, which is a reasonable reaction. But this statement is mystifying considering the multitude of offences and disrespects committed by the Prince and his wife against the royal family. I mean, it's just shocking, isn't it? Cohen concluded, it's astonishing. Their vendetta against the family and institution of monarchy is no mere family feud. Because the royal family represents the British nation, so it really is an insult to the nation. This insight comes amid reports the Duke may be considering fully becoming an American citizen. As the Royal Observer previously reported, if the Duke of Sussex wished to go forward with becoming a tried and true US citizen, he would need to renounce being a subject of King Charles III in addition to all of his royal titles and styles. Under the renunciation of title or order of nobility policy of the US Citizenship and Immigration Services, Usis, the fifth in line to the British throne will have to permanently say goodbye to being His Royal Highness Prince Henry, Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumbarton, Baron of Kilkeel. The US Oath of Allegiance states that any applicant who has any titles of heredity or positions of nobility in any foreign state must renounce the title or the position. Furthermore, any failure on Harry's part to comply with this demand would be considered a lack of attachment to the nation's constitution. In various interviews since Megxit brought him first to Canada, and then to California in 2020, the Royal Rebel has largely avoided the question of fully becoming an American citizen, and dropping being a British subject. I don't know how I feel, the Duke stated in one interview when asked if he felt American.